Born and raised in San Mateo, Carolyn Cornett, a mother of four with aspirations of becoming a public peace officer, never figured she would find herself living on the streets one day. After getting remarried, Carolyn and her husband sat out Skyline College as a means to change their lives. Our routine was we'd uh, take the bus and come up here to school and take a shower and we both go to our classes and I'd go to work and then we end up at night and then we'd sleep like either at a motel or at the airport or we're doing we're studying at Starbucks but it just we got into that routine where it just became normal for us. Encountering financial challenges to pay even for basic necessities, Carolyn began writing bad checks and was eventually called into the president's office. But to her surprise, was introduced to a life-changing program, SparkPoint. This one-stop financial education center provides coaches who work like personal trainers to support financial fitness. When I started SparkPoint, with Melanie. She started taking my bad habits and putting it on paper and putting it on a computer system and saying, okay, this is our goal. This is where we want to get to. I am in a stable place right now. I'm getting over the bad habits. My rent comes first. Um, I pay off little by little. This is an angel that fell from above that is actually helping me and my husband. Students like Carol, experience Skyline College's creativity and innovation every day. There are so many ways in which Skyline College really moves its ideas and reconceptualizes some of the regular notions to be able to offer really innovative programs. I'll give you some examples. Right now, we have just launched the Center for Transformative Teaching and Learning. It's our comprehensive approach to professional development for faculty, staff, and administration. Uh, and that professional development addresses anything from how we teach considerations of how students learn, the use of technology, all types of ways in which we try to figure out how to be more successful with students. We're launching a global learning division that has um, you know, a comprehensive approach to the international students program, to study abroad, uh, to the African diaspora program. It'll include the Center for International Trade and Development as well as the Youth Entrepreneurship Program. We have a partnership with the Lynx organization and the Lynx is a community-based organization of African-American collegiate women, professional women. And they do different things in the community but they also have an international focus. Skyline College will have students who will mentor the girls in Liberia and the Skyline College students will be mentored by the Lynx. So there is a pipeline of support that allows these women to be able to go into professions. So that's an example of some of the creativity and innovation that people like Carol will get to experience. The student body really benefits from all the programs that we have here at Skyline. There's a really diverse student body and that's one of the amazing things that we have here. And there's so many different support systems and people are willing to work with students and the students always come first. To complement Skyline College's academic programs and enhance the learning experience on campus, a President's Innovation Fund has been established to support innovative programs and initiatives at the college. The President's Innovation Fund provided early seed funding to many creative programs this year, including the Literacy Intervention Community Program and Cypher. The Center for Innovative Practices Through Hip-Hop Education and Research is an educational and professional development opportunity for students, faculty, and staff to learn about hip-hop pedagogies and best practices. Cypher also provides community events, such as hip-hop film screenings, live performances, and the guest lecture series. Cypher began um, as a result of our work with Rock the School Bells about seven years and a lot of students have reached out to us and wondered what type of hip-hop programming that Skyline provides. Rock the School Bells is just a one-day event so Cypher was born out of that to create a bridge for students who want to come to Skyline College and continue with this hip-hop education. Hip-hop is the voice of our generation. It speaks to their experiences. So to engage them in the classrooms to develop curriculum that really integrates hip-hop education, now we're reaching the students for the rap. It basically shows that Skyline is, you know, real attentive to the youth. 
Like we're, we're breaking the mold of traditional teachings, traditional curriculum, and we're going out to saying, we want to connect with the youth more, connect with our students more. And these are one of these programs, that's where it's derived from. When you have hip hop taught and integrated in your classrooms, it's almost as if you're validating their life experiences. You're not utilizing te uh, text or, or lectures that are so off their own experiences. Now you're having this one-on-one -on -one conversation. And because of that, as a result, more students are feeling validated, more students feel like they belong, more students want to be at Skyline. To provide real-world experience to students at Skyline College interested in a career in education, the Literacy Intervention Community Program was created to offer students the opportunity to serve as tutors to school-age students. The program is a partnership with Los Cerritos Elementary School in South San Francisco and Reading Partners. When I first envisioned the program, I recognized that there were three components. There was Skyline the College, there was the elementary school, the children, and then there were our students as well. And what I like about this program is that it impacts all three of these, what would be considered to a certain extent unrelated entities, but together it's almost taken on a synergistic effect. It's been an amazing experience not only for my staff here who've seen a, the growth in classroom academic performance of students, but also just the confidence level of students. The social emotional piece has been so um, dramatic in terms of improving um, students' level of confidence and um, ability to read. I like to hang out with yeah, Gian is helping me to read better. Working with Christian, I don't know, it made me realize that I like to work with kids. That's why I kind of changed my goal from being a police officer to a juvenile probation officer. The tutors that are our students come back to me and say, this is wonderful. I never thought that I would be so involved, so committed, and the participation has changed my career direction, my academic direction in some instances, and it's really changed me as a person. Programs like these have been made possible by the generous support from the community, and the President's Innovation Fund serves as an incubator for creative ideas at the college. It has become our innovation and creativity research and development arm, and they've grown into these programs that the institution's not willing to let go because the community's not willing to let go of them. The things that we've had the opportunity to have here, the kinds of presenters we've had, the kinds of programs we've had, are programs that are designed to have not just a little effect, but to have a profound effect. You know, to actually change the lives of students so much so that it affects their entire families and affects their communities. Carolyn Cornette, like many other students at Skyline College, have transformed their lives through the college's innovative approach to education. Carolyn plans on continuing her education through graduate school and aspires to be a social worker. Carolyn serves as an ambassador for the SparkPoint program and feels blessed to have received the support from the college. I received an email um, in December and it said, you're being honored. And I'm like, what is this? United Way, the women United of United Way gave me a plaque and I go, you know, um, my kids get plaques, you know, I don't get plaques, but when I did get this plaque, I turned to my husband and I said, you know, I love you very much because we both endured this. This isn't for me. This is for Skyline. This is for, you know, everybody that goes through this program. This program has just really got me from where I've been to where I'm at right now. And I would give my whole to SparkPoint. Skyline College provided Carolyn and continues to provide many others the tools to improve the lives of students for a successful and brighter future.